Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto, Tire Rack, and Die Hard. And from a pair of future products, we turn to a pair of revised products of the present. One is a domestic subcompact with a new engine, and the other is an imported truck with a new home. The subcompact, of course, is Ford's Escort, and this car is the world's current popularity champ. When it first came out, the automotive press gave it a lukewarm reception at best, but Ford has made drastic improvements over the three and a half years since then and a lot of them under the hood. And now we have another one. That clatter can mean only one thing. This Escort is a diesel. With the same power plant you can get in the Mercury Lynx and larger Tempo Topaz model. The new two liter oil burner is actually imported from Mazda. Designed from the ground up as a diesel, it features a cast iron block and a cross flow aluminum head. While horsepower is rated at only 52, torque totals 85 foot-pounds at 2,400 RPM. That's only 7% less than the Escort's base gasoline engine. The result is that performance is most undiesel light, especially since the engine is attached to a five-speed manual with a good choice of gear ratios. For instance, passing time is only 6.5 seconds from 40 to 55. While slow, it's respectable for any economy car, regardless of the kind of fuel it uses. We also expect diesel mileage to be good, but with the Escort diesel, it's exceptional. EPA ratings of 46 city and 68 highway make it the thriftiest diesel you can get. Our car, a somewhat lower rated California model, produced 50 on our MotorWeek economy loop. The diesel option here isn't overly expensive either. Our test GL wagon's base price of $7,331 is only $558 more than the same car without it. There are still a few drawbacks, though, to the Escort diesel. For instance, no automatic transmission is being offered this year. But at least it's an encouraging sign that Ford's interest in diesels is not flagging, ensuring that their front-drive cars are competitive whatever way energy prices bounce. And while Ford is importing diesel engines from Japan, Nissan Datsun is exporting an entire design. That means Nissan pickup trucks sold here are now made here. Down south in Smyrna, Tennessee. We thought a quick look was in order at any major changes brought about at this new birthplace. Compared to the King Cab model we tested last year, this 84 sports truck has cleaner front end styling. But more importantly, the new sheet metal includes a double sidewall cargo box. Now, if there's any shifting of the standard 1,460 pounds of payload on the inside, it won't show up as nasty bumps on the outside. The interior got a thorough going over too, with a new car-like instrument panel. And the 2.4 liter, 103 horsepower engine is 9% bigger and 5% stronger than before. Installed here in a four-wheel drive model, EPA fuel economy ratings for the standard five-speed manual are 21 city and 27 highway. Our 100-mile urban test loop produced 21 on mostly two-lane blacktop. The bigger engine, combined with a minimum 8.7 inches of ground clearance, also made for impressive performance off the road. Shifting in and out of four-wheel drive as a snap with both a high and low range standard. Automatic locking hubs are also included as standard equipment. And price? Well, bottom line Tennessee-made Nissan pickup start at $6,000, with the four-wheel drive version starting at just under nine grand. Overall, we think the solid nature of this year's homemade Nissan Datsun pickups is a big improvement over last year's imported truck. Just goes to show you again how well a good design can turn out when it's put in the hands of a dedicated American workforce.